Um, we are here uh, because we, as a city and county of San Francisco, officially are declaring a state of emergency for a public health crisis uh, in San Francisco involving monkeypox. And more clearly, um, we want to make it known that San Francisco has one of the highest case rates already of monkeypox of any other major city in the country. And just to put that into perspective, we saw over the past couple of weeks the numbers began to rapidly increase. At one point there was 60, then there was 80, then there was 140. And when there was 140 on July 20th, I sent a letter to the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services, Javier Becerra, expressing significant concern and urgency for the need for vaccines in San Francisco and that we are at a very scary place. And we don't want to be ignored by the federal government in our need. So many leaders of the LGBT community have also, weeks ago, asked for additional help and support and assistance. And this was July 20th, and now here we are. July 28th, and we're double that number at 281 cases of monkeypox and in desperate need of vaccines. And to also put that into perspective in terms of the numbers, we've received about 12,000 vaccines to date. We really need 70,000. We sent in a letter as well asking for about 35,000 because what we want to do is we want to prevent the numbers from increasing. We have a solution in the vaccines and we want to make sure that everyone who is requesting a vaccine gets one. We have had to we have five sites identified in San Francisco and have to close many of those sites because we've run out of vaccines. So we're all here today because we know the importance of this. We know the challenges of what happens in San Francisco when we put public health on the back burner. We've seen this happen before in history. During the AIDS crisis, when San Francisco was virtually left on its own to fend for itself, to address what became a real pandemic in this country. And we use the examples of the work that we did when we came together during the hate crisis to fight against the discrimination, against the hate, to focus on public health, because this is about public health of the residents of our city. And so by sounding the alarm, what we're saying is this is not going to be ignored, that this is a public health crisis, that we are in desperate need of vaccines to support the people of San Francisco.